right, Ted, the other day I saw a picture of you. You were in a wheelchair. What was that all about? Oh, I have sciatica every now and then. The face-off between Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga was charged with intensity, especially when Alvarez delivered a crushing verbal blow by promising that Berlanga would experience immense pain when they meet in the ring. Alvarez didn't stop there. He taunted Berlanga by comparing his punches to those of a child, suggesting that Berlanga hits with the force of his own son. Despite these taunts, Alvarez remained clear about his intent. He still plans to beat the hell out of Berlanga. The conference began with Berlanga expressing gratitude, thanking his fans, supporters, and the promoters who made the event possible. However, the biggest surprise during this face-off was Berlanga's unexpectedly calm demeanor. Instead of displaying aggression, he even took a moment to thank Alvarez for the opportunity to face him in the ring. It's refreshing to see a fighter approach his opponent with respect and decency, showing that sportsmanship is alive and well in the world of boxing. I want to thank PBC. I want to thank El Cubano, Al Heyman, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, my manager Keith Connolly, my dad Edgar Berlanga, sir. And I also want to thank Team Canelo for giving us this opportunity, Berlanga said. As time has passed, Berlanga can't help but feel a sense of disappointment. He feels overlooked, having faced numerous challenges and strong opponents without receiving the recognition he believes he deserves. What weighs on him most is the unexpected wave of hate he's encountered. Despite these struggles, Berlanga remains optimistic that once this fight finally takes place, people's perception of him will change. He's determined to prove himself in the ring and hopes that this performance will earn him the respect and acknowledgement that has so far eluded him. There's a lot of doubt out there about me and a lot of hate, but I've been facing adversities all my life. This is my opportunity to become a great champion but also be legendary in the sport of boxing. Puerto Rico versus Mexico, that's the biggest rivalry in boxing, Berlanga stated. When asked why he feels overlooked, Berlanga could only express how deeply this sentiment has affected him. According to him, even if he held a world title, people would still fail to give him the recognition he deserves. This feeling of being overlooked is something he's experienced from the very beginning of his career. When he first started, no one wanted to sign him, and no promoter was willing to take a chance on him. It's a struggle that has followed him throughout his journey, reinforcing the belief that no matter what he achieves, he's still not getting the attention he's earned. Like I said before, I've always been overlooked. Even if I had a world title, I'd still be overlooked. When I first turned pro, nobody wanted to sign me, no promotion wanted to sign me, Berlanga explained. When Alvarez took the stage after Berlanga, the atmosphere noticeably shifted to a calmer and more composed tone. This demeanor is not typical of Alvarez, who is known for not just inflicting physical damage on his opponents, but also for his sharp verbal jabs. However, during this conference, it seemed like Alvarez had a good night's sleep as he spoke unusually well of his opponent. This unexpected display of respect from someone with such a fierce reputation left many surprised, showing a different side of Alvarez that isn't often seen in the build-up to fights. He's a strong fighter, a young fighter, and I'm going to put my best into training and into the fight to deliver a great, great fight. I'm happy I love boxing, I love what I do, and I'm happy to be here, Alvarez remarked. Eventually, the true attitude of Alvarez emerged. He told Berlanga that he's about to experience something entirely different in the ring. What kind of difference will it be? Will Alvarez deliver a knockout blow before the final bell? That remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. Alvarez is determined to give it his all and ensure that the fans witness an unforgettable fight. He's committed to making sure that this bout will be one to remember, with every punch contributing to a thrilling experience for everyone watching. It's going to be a great fight. He's going to experience something different, and the people are going to enjoy this fight, Alvarez confidently stated. Hey, that was just one conference. The other interview was so intense that everyone in the room wished the fight could happen right then and there. Imagine the thrill and anticipation the fans must have felt as they watched these two proud warriors standing inches apart, neither willing to back down. Alvarez, the reigning champion with an impressive record of 62-2-1, exuded unshakable confidence.
Berlanga, the undefeated challenger at 22-0, radiated sheer determination. If you ask me, it was clear that both fighters were ready to deliver, and the fans were in for a showdown they wouldn't soon forget. Clearly, Alvarez is ahead when it comes to verbal jabs, leaving Berlanga at a bit of a disadvantage in the pre-fight banter. Now, what's Berlanga's game plan? Is he just going to let Alvarez's words slide without a response? Not at all. The undefeated Berlanga is taking a different approach as he gears up for his fight against Alvarez. Known for his knockout power, the Puerto Rican sensation has decided to change his strategy in his quest to dethrone the mighty Mexican champion. And it's not what fans might expect. Instead of relying solely on his power, Berlanga is planning something that could catch Alvarez off guard. So what is it? Berlanga apparently has an ace up his sleeve. He's not just relying on his fists to secure a victory in this fight. Instead, he's banking on something far less visible but potentially even more powerful his mind. In a surprising twist, Berlanga revealed his unconventional strategy to defeat Canelo Alvarez, focusing on outsmarting his opponent rather than just overpowering him. This mental approach could be the key to unlocking a path to victory, catching Alvarez, and perhaps even the fans by surprise. Berlanga's approach marks a significant departure from his usual game plan. Famous for his devastating knockout power, with 17 of his 22 victories ending in Kos, Berlanga has built a reputation as a fearsome puncher, but as he prepares to face Canelo Alvarez, the young Puerto Rican understands that brute force alone won't be enough. He's up against a boxing genius with a formidable track record, and he knows he needs more than just a heavy hand to prevail. So Berlanga is trading in his sledgehammer for a scalpel, planning to outthink the champion rather than simply outpunch him when they meet on September 14th. Recently, Jaime Munguia weighed in on the upcoming matchup between Canelo Alvarez and Berlanga. Munguia, who faced Canelo Alvarez in a recent bout, experienced firsthand the prowess of the Mexican champion on a vibrant night at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas during Cinco de Mayo weekend. Alvarez defeated Munguia by unanimous decision, marking Munguia's first professional loss in their all-Mexican showdown. Canelo Alvarez's victory not only handed Munguia his initial defeat, but also allowed him to successfully defend his unified super middleweight title. Munguia stated that it would be a tough fight for Berlanga. He knows that Alvarez has a knack for doing the unexpected, and his own experience against Alvarez left him caught off guard. Munguia believes that Berlanga will face similar challenges, as Alvarez employs techniques and strategies that are often beyond the imagination of a typical fighter. This unpredictability and skill make Alvarez a formidable opponent so Berlanga will need to be prepared for anything when he steps into the ring with the champion. But what